Hello, this is Sabdi. The topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is uniform continuity. Uh, before I give you the definition of uniform continuity, I will basically explain this concept with the two example of continuous function. So first we will consider example number one in which we will show that the function f of x um, which is equal to 3x plus 4 this function is continuous uh, on the uh, real line and then uh, in the second example we will consider another function f of x is equal to x square and we will prove that this function is also continuous on the real line but then we will basically uh, do the analysis on these two examples and see that what is the subtle difference between the continuity of the function 3x plus 4 and uh, the continuity of the function uh, f of x is equal to x square. So if I want to prove that this function is continuous uh, at every point uh, of r, first I will pick a, a and uh, I will uh, prove basically or I will also pick a epsilon positive and my goal is to show that the difference between f of x minus f of a I can make this less than epsilon by choosing x minus a uh, less than some delta uh, so I will start uh, computing this term which is f of x minus f of uh, a uh, what is f of x this is a 3x plus 4 and what is f of a this is a 3a plus 4 so now if i simplify uh, this expression so i will see that i'm going to get 3x minus a 4 will cancel out or in other words this is a 3 times the absolute value x minus a now if i make my choice uh, so my choice for the delta is or in other words if i choose my x minus a less than uh, epsilon divided by 3 then I can make this term less than epsilon or in other words uh, this inequality which is f of x minus f of a will be less than epsilon so now I will write down the uh, formal proof for my example so I choose my a and choose my epsilon and then I can find so there will exist I can choose my delta uh, which will be a epsilon divided by 3 if i make this choice of the delta uh, then uh, the difference between f of x minus f of a as you can already see this uh, calculation it will be 3 times x minus a and that will be less than epsilon when if i choose x minus a less than delta which is equal to epsilon divided by 3. So this choice of delta uh, is uh, required for to prove the continuity of that function. Now let's discuss the continuity of the second function. Uh, again I need to do the scratch work. Uh, in this case I need to find x square minus a square. So again I will choose a from to the real number and then also I will select the epsilon and my goal is to find a delta so that is my goal and I want to find a delta so that x square minus a is less than epsilon so now this quantity also can be written as x plus uh, a and x minus a and this can be if I use the triangle inequality this can be written as absolute value of uh, x and then a uh, absolute value of a and then this can be written as x minus a now basically uh, my goal is uh, to find an upper bound of this term because x minus a is I needed so in order to find an upper bound if I make my choice of delta now if I make x minus a less than 1 my x is between a minus 1 less than is equal to x less than is equal to a plus 1. Now I will use some property of the absolute value function. So one thing is that the absolute value of uh, let's suppose uh, a is always greater than or is equal to a. That is true always. 
uh, because the absolute value is always positive no matter what a is it's always going to be greater than or equal to a and another uh, property of the absolute value is it is also greater than or is equal to minus a so i will use these uh, two property of the absolute value function so here uh, on this side uh, basically i will use the second property so if uh, i multiply negative sign on both sides so a will be then greater than or equal to minus absolute value of a so here i will get this is equal to minus absolute value of a minus 1 less than x less than because a is less than or is equal to absolute value so i can write it as a, a plus 1 so this simply um, this will be absolute value of a plus 1 less than x less than absolute value of a plus 1 so x is between the negative and positive of this number so this implies absolute value of x is always less than is equal to uh, absolute value of a plus 1 so now so this implies uh, if i substitute that into the calculation i did it above so a square x square now it will become less than because this is now the absolute value of this is a less than absolute value of a plus 1 so it will become the two times the absolute value of uh, a plus 1 and then here is x minus a now i have to make another choice of uh, uh, delta and this time i will make that my x minus uh, a must be less than uh, epsilon divided by uh, two uh, two times absolute value of a plus one so now i can make the choice of my delta so my choice of delta will be now uh, the minimum since there are two values of delta so i will take the minimum of one and this is the epsilon divided by uh, two time of absolute value of a plus one and then as you can see that if i calculate uh, f of x minus f of a then i can make this less than uh, simply epsilon because the way i choose my delta when x minus a is less than delta so now we analyze what is basically the major difference between uh, uh, proving the continuity of the example number one versus the example number two as we can notice that uh, in example number one when we make the choice of the delta it uh, really does not depend on a however in example number two the choice of the delta does depend on a and that is the major or subtle difference uh, between the continuity of the example number one and uh, the continuity of the example number two what that does actually mean is that uh, if you choose for example in example number one if you check the continuity of the function at a is equal to one versus you check the continuity of the function at a is equal to 100 you do not have to change the choice of delta delta is equal to epsilon divided by three will work so same delta will work where no matter where you want to check the continuity of the function but in example number two so you really need to change the choice of the delta when you make the different choice of the continuity for example if you want to check whether the function is continuity at a is equal to one you may need to choose a, a very you can choose maybe a bit large delta um, but if you have to check the continuity of this function at uh, a is equal to 100 then you have to basically adjust your delta uh, depending on that values of a or in other words you have to make the smaller choice of that delta next we are going to view the difference between the continuity of these two example graphically so let me first plot the graph of the example number one uh, versus the graph of the example number two so in the uh, example number one the graph of the function uh, is simply a state line which is f of x is equal to 3x plus 4 so it really doesn't matter if i check the continuity at 1 or check the continuity or 2 or i check the continuity of the function at 100 so 
the function is continued if I make the choice of uh, this epsilon so let's suppose this is a epsilon radius of this uh, point and then accordingly I just need to change this distance will be epsilon divided by 3 and similarly if I check the continuity at this point if I choose this neighborhood of the point and uh, this is choose epsilon so this distance which is the neighborhood around the point 2 will not change it will be again epsilon divided by 3 so no matter where I check the continuity of the function I can always choose my delta uh, same which will be epsilon divided by 3 um, but let's look at this example so this is the graph of this function y is equal to x square so as you can see that if I check the continuity at 1, let's suppose this is a is equal to 1. If I make my choice of epsilon here, if I pick a epsilon here, then the value of the delta must have to be basically this radius. But if I want to check the continuity at this point of the function, so let's check the continuity and if I make the same, uh, same neighborhood around that point, but the, the epsilon neighborhood of that point, let's suppose that point is 4 and then it is less than, so definitely it is less than, it's, it's narrowed on the, uh, the choice of the delta. So you have to choose a smaller delta and so on if I check the continuity of this function at some point uh, 100 then the choice of the delta will be really really small because the function is steeping up and you have to choose a really small delta in order to squeeze your x uh, uh, close to uh, a so that is sort of the major difference or the subtle difference between the continuity of this function because as you moving uh, basically on the um, uh, right hand side of the x-axis uh, the choice of the delta is is narrowing down or you have to choose the smaller and smaller value of delta in order to prove that function is continuity uh, versus in example number one uh, no matter wherever you check the continuity of that function you can always check the continuity by choosing the same delta so next definition which i'm going to show you the definition of uniform continuity the main goal of that definition is to uh, distinguish between these two examples or these two different type of continuity. So now we will define uh, what does it mean by a function to be a continuous. So let's suppose a function is a defined on A to R where A is the domain of the function and R is uh, the set of real uh, is uniform continuous uniform continues if if for every for every epsilon there exist or we you can find a delta which does not depend on any values of x uh, so that so that the difference between f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon when the difference between x and y the two value is less than delta so this is the definition of the uniform continuity uh, at first look this definition look really similar to the definition of the continuity so let me first write down what is the definition of the continuity and then we will basically try to see what is the major difference between these two definition so continuity i'm going to recall that definition a function f starting from a go to real number is continuous if uh, for every choice for every epsilon positive and then a belongs to a there exist delta most of the time this delta is going to basically depend on epsilon and a uh, so that the difference between f of x minus f of a this is a less than epsilon 
when the difference between x and a is less than delta. So as you can see, basically the only difference between uh, these two definition is the ordering, but which is a very subtle difference. Uh, here, as you can see that I have to make the choice A before I choose my delta. The delta might be depending on A. I need to have A before I make the choice of the delta. But here, I do not need to uh, choose A to make that choice of delta. So delta is chosen independently of the choice of A. However, in the continuity, the choice of A has to be made first and then you choose the delta. So this is the uh, major or subtle difference between these two definitions. Next, I have one quiz problem for you to practice. Please pause the video for one and two minutes and work on this problem. This is also the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, also subscribe my channel. Uh, I will see you in the uh, next video. Bye for now.